Hey, welcome back everyone. Tax season. Oh, it's here and many of you are doing your own taxes. Others of you have someone that you trust and many of you will use a seasonal preparer. That might work well, but if you do hear from the IRS over the year, you might be on your own when it comes to defending that return. So we have many more tips for tax season on tonight's All New Money Talks. For a new tax preparer, you can check the history of a CPA through the Texas Board of Public Accountancy, and you can check the history of an enrolled agent through the IRS Office of Enrollment. You can also contact the Better Business Bureau to see if there are any complaints against a tax preparer that you're considering using. Once you choose that tax preparer, make sure that they will protect you and won't be taking advantage of you. Make sure you're going to work with a preparer that charges by the hour or a flat fee or a similar method. You want to stay away from anyone that promises you um, uh, of the largest refund or says they'll work for a percentage of the refund that they get you. Those can be shady. Remember, the preparer only knows what you tell them about your work situation from the previous year. The responsibility still falls to the taxpayer. You're still responsible for the accuracy of your tax return, even if someone else prepares it for you. So get questions answered that you have and don't ever sign a blank tax return. We are now in calendar year 2024, but that doesn't mean that you can't still get yourself some tax deductions for 2023. If you're still looking for a tax deduction, one of the deductions you can still claim is for a traditional IRA. But keep in mind that the actual deductibility of that contribution will depend on things like your marriage status, how much you make, and whether or not you have a retirement plan at work. If you do make a contribution for 2023, you need to make it by April 15th and mark it as a prior year contribution so the custodian knows to credit it for last year. And remember, if you are getting a big refund, it's your own money coming back to you. It might be exciting to see that you're getting a large tax refund, but you need to know where that money comes from. Getting a refund means that you've loaned Uncle Sam money throughout the year that you otherwise could have had in a larger paycheck. So if you are getting a large refund, or if you find yourself on the opposite of that having to pay a lot, you might want to adjust your tax withholdings so that you don't have uh, as big of a refund or as big of a tax due at tax time next year. And just a reminder, if you are filing an extension, you will give the additional time, of course, to file your taxes. But not to pay those taxes. Any money that you owe should be paid by the tax filing deadline, which of course is April the 15th, or you could owe substantial penalties and interest. You might want to send in an estimated tax payment if you're filing an extension to avoid any surprises.